workers forced two school districts to cancel class because of problems with the AC. Yeah, mixed with those extreme temps, it can make for an uncomfortable learning environment. KSN's Derek Lytle is live with how it's impacted schools and students. Derek. Jeff, Julia, one school in Wichita, another in McPherson were closed today, meaning that over 1,300 kids were told not to come to class. Problems with the HVAC cooling at Horace Mann Dual Language Magnet in Wichita saw classroom temperatures rise into the high 80s. Basically because the rooms were so warm. You know, since because the rooms were warm, we decided that we would it would be better to cancel school. A local heating and cooling business uh, says they've also they received a couple to, hundred calls per day for repairs at local homes. That equipment is being pushed beyond its um, efficiencies and it struggles to keep up. For McPherson High School, the problem started as early as Monday morning. They sent students home at 1045. It became evident pretty quickly that the building was heating up uh, due to the extreme temperatures pretty quickly. And by 930, uh, we had classrooms that were uh, between 86 and 89 degrees. He believes the age of the equipment plays a major role in their issues. Some of their HVAC systems still date back to the 1960s. The, the reality is we know that that building, uh, we have a facility study that's pointed out that uh, we have a lot of equipment in that um, building that is uh, in need of replacement. The McPherson superintendent is hopeful that their bond will pass in November, allowing for around $10 million in HVAC renovations. Here for you in Wichita, Derek Weidel, KSN News 3. Demand for